I came to ISU because they offered a master's program and it also gave me an opportunity to sort out my life in 1968, which was an important time in world history. And uh, they did. And I received a uh, master's degree here. I took a year off and I reflected upon my time at ISU in those two years and uh, what I wanted to really do to shape my career and I decided to come back and get a PhD. Uh, I felt affirmed by the faculty. I felt good about the kind of um, affirmation that they were giving in, in the fact that I should do both research as well as think about teaching and education in my career path and that excited me. But through my teaching, I was able to recruit students to do research with me. And many of those students um, that I taught at Hope College, I had about 150 of those students over 30 years at Hope College. Um, about 60 of them have gone on to get PhDs. And I felt that was really an important thing. But many of those students that went on to get PhDs, several of them, wound up coming to Illinois State University to come and get their graduate degrees, whether they be masters or PhDs. And so there was a feedback loop. And part of that wasn't because I said, you ought to look at Illinois State. They um, met people at ISU because of my associations with them. They affiliated with them. They felt good about them. And uh, they made the choice to come here. And I, and I felt that there was a feedback mechanism that was very natural. It wasn't forced. It wasn't anything else. But many of my students found this as a good place for them to pursue their graduate degrees as well. So that concept of teaching um, that was really uh, 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 put into me by Herman Brockman and Arlen Richardson, Harry Heisinger, Omar Roulette, Saul Schulman, all of the people that were there in that era for me um, has become part of really my life's philosophy that the integration of teaching and research is key, and I got that specifically from ISU. Well, from a uh, uh, standpoint of, as representative, I have the pleasure and distinct honor to represent not only State University and the State Legislature in a very difficult time financially of late. Uh, from a personal standpoint, Illinois State University has been uh, extremely helpful to me, my wife, uh, and our youngest son, uh, who's autistic. And um, we, we somewhat, I think, take for granted the treasure we have for, in, in Illinois State University in our own backyard here. Uh, and I'm struck by the motto, is, gladly uh, would he uh, teach and uh, gladly would he learn and teach. And that, that really fits with the help we've had for our son through not only speech um, in the hearing clinic, but also through the Autism uh, Center here at Illinois State University. Uh, so it's one thing as a representative to represent a great university, an institution like Illinois State University. It's another thing as a parent to live it with a child of special needs who needs help in our own backyard. We're fortunate to have the expertise uh, that Illinois State University offers in special education. So that, that's been a blessing to us, uh, my wife Terry and I, and, and our son Tom. So I, I'm very, very lucky to have the honor to represent, but on the other hand, I'm very lucky as a parent to have Illinois State University help my family. I came to ISU not with a career in mind, but learning in mind. I really wanted to just learn. And the continual ability to do that is a real life force within me, but also how do we make this community, how do we make this world a better place? and the tools you learn as a student, but also the connections to the community, say once you get beyond your comfort zone, you can do some things that hopefully will have an impact that will make people's lives better. And learning how to connect with diverse people, to learn to listen, to learn to hear how other people see the world around them, and then from that together, how do we particularly improve the opportunities for marginalized people. And again, ISU's motto, and glad we, we gladly learn and teach, um, that to me, I mean, that again is the roots of the university, that, that we are um, at ISU, you are learning to be both a learner and a teacher. 
and whether that's informal um, teaching. Um, I had come back to ISU to get my teaching certificate because I, I wanted to continue on doing work um, in, the, in the field of education. But uh, just so that transition from being a student to then one who um, is interested in, in the next generation always having more opportunities to to learn and be creative and and find expression and solve problems so and i think isu gave us a very very solid foundation for that they um, both the the faculty the staff our our students that we um, you know our friends that we hung out with um, all gave us that opportunity to explore together and to be continuously learning and we still have friends that we're connected with, um, that we, my roommates here tonight that I was, was friends with and we, um, you know, we had a dorm room together and <laughs> looked out through Witten Hall window <laughs> and watched the sunset together <laughs> and pondered philosophy together, <laughs> you know, so um, it was, it's uh, certainly an experience that, that uh, ISU provides that foundation for that. In my job, what I'm doing is I'm trying to convert young people into being conservation biologists. And a conservation biologist is just sort of a different type of animal manager or a land manager. But instead of studying pigs and cows and poultry here in the heartland of Illinois, uh, our team studies cheetahs in Namibia and Africa or giant pandas in China or we breed black-footed ferrets out at our institute in Virginia. And so we're looking for students that have that connectivity uh, to animals. And I think that uh, ISU should be particularly proud of the fact that they have this state-of-the-art farm facility which allows uh, students to be connected to uh, both the land and to animals. And that's going to become really more and more important as we try to continue to figure out how to feed our ever-growing world.